<clears throat> On behalf of the faculty and staff of Olin College, let me welcome you all to our seventh commencement ceremony. What a spectacular day this is. We're not used to such great weather on our uh, <laughs> commencements. I hope this is a good omen. As we begin, I want to recognize our several distinguished guests who are here on the platform today, including the founding and current trustees of Olin College, Provost Shahid Ansari of Babson College, and the members of the President's Cabinet. Now this day of celebration was ultimately made possible because of the extraordinary vision generosity and courage of the directors of the former F.W. Olin Foundation who established this institution in 1997. They're represented here this afternoon by Mr. Lawrence W. Milas, who had more to do with the founding of this college than anyone else. Will you please join me in thanking the foundation? I also want to extend an especially warm welcome to our commencement speaker, Mr. Nick D'Onofrio. He'll be called to the platform later in the program, but I want to thank you now, Nick, for taking the time to join us today. Mr. D'Onofrio's distinguished career, including 44 years at IBM, is marked by his long service as Executive Vice President for Innovation and Technology and appointment as an IBM Fellow. A holder of seven patents, a member of the National Academy of Engineering, and recipient of myriad of other honors, he's one of the most respected and articulate voices for innovation in America today. He has a particular enthusiasm and passion for advancing education, and especially engineering education, and we're truly privileged to count him as a friend of Olin College. Now to the class of 2012. Today we celebrate a significant milestone in the transformational journey that began in August of 2008 when you arrived here on this campus. Your class of 69 graduates, only the seventh in the history of Olin College, is truly remarkable. The majority of you, 84%, have already made commitments either to an employer or to graduate school. In fact, 71% of you are headed immediately to the workforce most in technical fields. Some of you will work at major corporations that are leading innovation around the world, corporations such as Microsoft, Google, Boeing, Facebook, Raytheon, Boston Scientific, and others. But others of you will be working at smaller companies and startups that are not yet household names, but that form the core of innovation that is so critical to the future of our country. One measure of how much you have already inspired your employers is in this statistic. Collectively, this class has raised the average starting salary for an Olin graduate by about 20% in one year. <laughs> that is truly phenomenal, especially in a time of continuing unemployment and financial stress in this country, and particularly for new college graduates. One of you has been selected as a Fulbright Scholar, one as a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellow, and three as National Academy of Engineering Grand Challenge Scholars. Six of you have already been accepted to Harvard Business School's 2 plus 2 program, and another 10 will soon enter graduate school at Babson, Stanford, MIT, Penn, Cornell, Columbia, Carnegie Mellon, Northwestern, and the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Many of you have also received scholarships and fellowships to continue your education. We just couldn't be more proud of you. Now from the beginning, you knew that Olin was different from other engineering schools. That's why you chose to come here. Our design-based curriculum, our focus on teamwork, communication, and leadership, our honor code and strong community values, our intrinsic motivation and passionate pursuits, these are the hallmarks of the Olin experience. They distinguish us from other schools of engineering and they distinguish you from other engineering graduates. Of course, we do provide a rigorous education in science, math, and engineering too, but we make a special effort to shape attitudes and long-term motivations, not simply impart knowledge. 
The result is a community of people who have fun working exceptionally hard with others to create innovative solutions to problems about which they are passionate. How do I know you have fun? You tell me that yourselves. In fact, I received a letter a couple of weeks ago from Travis Shu, who's graduating here today. Travis has been a member of the Human Powered Vehicle Team, otherwise known as HPV, and he wrote something that resonates with me. When people ask Travis how HPV went, he says, and I quote, I tell them that this is the hardest I have ever worked, yet the most fun I've ever had. The hardest I've ever worked, yet the most fun I've ever had. It's been our aim since the founding of Olin that each and every one of you would use these words to sum up your entire four years here at, at the college. Now, why have we designed Olin to be so different from other schools? Because our mission is to produce exemplary engineering innovators who recognize needs, design solutions, and engage in creative enterprises for the good of the world. An Olin engineer envisions what has never been and does whatever it takes to make it happen. Each in his or her own way, we intend that you will become a force for innovation and change wherever you go. Now you've practiced this over and over through our project-based curriculum. And in addition to finding the fun in hard work, you've also developed a strong can-do attitude towards hard to solve problems. Practicing this can-do attitude may, in fact, be the most important thing that you've done at Olin. Without it, you'll have a very difficult time making a positive impact on the world or practically anything else. With it, you can be the leaders who will literally change the world. However, I want to prepare you for what lies ahead. You will struggle as you attempt to lead others in the process of change. You see, being an innovator can be difficult. I know this from experience. Uh, you'll be blazing a new trail, but you will also upset the status quo, and you'll be subject to scrutiny. Others will find fault in what you do. Some will see your innovative ideas as disrespectful or unnecessary or simply wrong-headed. Some observers may expect or even hope that you will fail. When you face such criticism, and if you do to lead in promoting innovation, you surely will, then the words of President Theodore Roosevelt might be of some encouragement to you. This quote has often helped me through such difficult times. And I quote, it's not, <clears throat> it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the, do where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither knew victory nor defeat. In other words, aim high. Take on the impossible challenges. Work very, very hard. Endure the difficulties. Be brave, brave enough to take some risks along the way, and never, 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 never give up because the reward for blazing a difficult, innovative trail will be greater, despite the occasional missteps, than if you follow the safer, smoother path. The world needs people in the arena, and that's why we created Olin College. You're ready, so go. Follow your passions and your natural curiosity. Have confidence that you can learn anything from physics, to medicine, to law, to education, to performing arts, to entrepreneurship, and those before you have done exactly that. Discover opportunities in the grand challenges of our time and make a positive difference in the world. I hope you will work as hard as you did at Olin 
maybe even harder, and that you will enjoy life even more than you did here. Good luck and Godspeed to all of you.